What up YouTube, Bow Ball here with a brand new Bow Ball Talk. It's on the Iron Man 3 figures. That's right, San Diego Comic Con happened and we got a bunch of new Iron Man 3 figures. And honestly, a lot of these seem very impressive and I'm actually looking forward to these figures. Uh, yeah, so I decided to do another Bow Ball Talk on some figures because I actually uh, looked at the views of the uh, original ones I did of the Marvel Universe and Iron Man 3 figures and they are some of my most viewed videos. Not my most, but in the top 10, which is pretty awesome. And I want to thank you guys for watching them and enjoying them. So for your guys' pleasure, I have decided to do a brand new list. I hope you guys enjoy this and you guys uh, enjoy my commentary. And I will be picking up all of these figures because my goal is to get at least all of the Iron Man armors from Iron Man 2 and I decided to do the same thing with Iron Man 3 because one thing I will say about Iron Man 3 is that they have some amazing designs so enough talk let's get started on what I think of the figures alright so let's start with the Ego armor and actually I should mention this before we start I don't own the pictures these are pictures I got off from the web by looking up these figures and also some of the pictures are from Big Bad Toy Store so just a heads up I didn't take the pictures I didn't own them I actually didn't get to go to San Diego Comic Con this year but I hope you guys you know just want to clarify that but I hope you guys uh, enjoy the pictures because they are really nice quality so the ego armor um, this is one I didn't like um, I didn't like that it was blue instead of red and it's the Hulkbuster armor but they changed the name um I understand why and I will admit it looks cool I just had problems with it as a figure but it has grown on me and I must say I will pick up this figure because it was in the movie and being a uh, not a big fan of the movie I mean if you see my Iron Man 3 review I really didn't like the movie but I love the designs of the armors and this design is a very solid and nice looking design. I mean, I might pick up two and repaint it as a Hulkbuster. But then again, you haven't seen my painting skills, so that probably won't happen. Uh, his accessories are the chainsaw interchangeable arm from the Star Boost armor. And then the Storm armor uh, extra accessory arm as the other uh, interchangeable arm. And he comes with the two missile pods with the stealth attack armor. If I got the names wrong, I do apologize. I don't have them memorized. Uh, looks very cool. I definitely will pose it with the missile launchers. Uh, the extra arms will be nice to have some extra arms for those because those are really nice sculpts. I mean, they look the exact same. Hopefully, there's a slightly different tint of blue to it, though. But it still looks very nice. Definitely one I recommend picking up. So next is the Alteri Iron Man armor. And this one is really cool. It's got giant fin missile pods that will probably connect on the arms and anywhere else where there are peg holes. They look very nice. And I like the paint on him. The blue and the black and the silver look very nice and very well together. These figures do look very high quality compared to the first versions of the uh, Iron Man 3 figures. That missile um, pod or jetpack kind of thing, I'm not quite sure what it is. Probably will connect to the back and maybe it can also combine with the missile pods to make a giant missile pod or just a backpack uh, kind of piece. Either way, it looks really cool. Uh, one thing that does bother me though is that the long pieces on the uh, the long red pieces on the uh, missile pods seem to indicate that this won't be a spring-loaded missile. It could be a push, but then again, it could just be a variation of a spring-loaded missile. That, or they could just be sculpted detail to make it look like blades. Either way, it looks kind of cool. But uh, just something I just wanted to mention. So finally, we have the neutron, neutrino, neu, neutrino, neutron, uh, the orange and dark colored armor. Yeah, I sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about this one. This one looks like the awesome one. Uh, this one is not on the official Iron Man armor. By the way, the alternate Iron Man armor is also not on that list. But it looks really cool. Um, I'm very impressed with it. Uh, it. It's the first one to come with interchangeable legs. That's really cool. Um, the legs look cool. He also comes with a ton of accessories. I mean, look at this. He comes with the extra arm that was seen with the Starburst armor the War Machine armor, but uh, we have seen this on before. It this time it's silver, 
it looks cool. Um, nothing too special with that. Um, he comes with the hooked missile, but it does have the cool grapple uh, looking accessory, or that might be an axe gun actually, I'm not quite sure what that is, and then a small blaster. So it looks really cool, I'm very, very impressed with this figure, it's definitely one I'm going to pick up, because it looks cool, and I recommend picking up for it just because uh, the Iron Man 3 figures do make good little desk toys to have one or two on your desk while you know you take a break from homework, just mess with them a little, like five minutes, and then go back. Uh, that's the best way I describe these toys, but they're pretty cool, and this one does look like a really nice one with a lot of play value. So this is one I would recommend picking up. All right, so here we have a three pack, and this is one I was destined to pick up from the start of this line. When I first saw the pictures, I wanted this one. It comes with an Iron Man 42 armor, um, new accessories. Eh, we we've seen it unless they had something new like a new maybe a new head sculpt or uh some better articulation i would be more excited but i i just can't but um we have the dunbuster armor it is a repaint of the uh shotgun armor slash storm armor it looks cool i actually do like the paint scheme on it and it's it's nice, I will admit that. But the real reason you buy this is for the red snapper. This thing looks gorgeous. This was one of my favorite Iron Man designs from this uh, Iron Man 3 movie. And it looks incredible. I mean, this is a cool looking toy. The arms and limbs are interchangeable like the normal figures. And the extra arms are pretty cool. They're, ju they're kind of claws that you would see on like a robotic lobster but they shoot missiles which is a very nice touch i'm glad they made that feature a separate uh a separate feature from the normal claws so you got the movie accurate claws and the play value claws which is really nice i'm really thankful for hasbro to doing this because that definitely helps people who wanted a show accurate one and didn't want to pay a ton of money for the hot toys one then this is a great alternative it looks cool and has some play value to it plus you could actually swap the arms and put them on different figures and it really does even out. You get two repaint figures, and actually one being a Wii release with repainted accessories. But you also get one that's a completely new mold, and its interchangeable arms are also completely new molds. And from the looks of it, the missiles are also completely new molds. So this is a win-win toy. And we have the Heatbreaker armor. This is the one in the top, which is yellow and red. The Heatbreaker armor looks very nice. I'm really, really liking its design. It is, I believe, a completely new mold. Um, the chest does look like the figure that was released, uh, the saw blade armor. I will admit that, but I think there's some re-sculpting in there. Uh, the arms are a reuse of that uh, same figure with the saw blade uh, hands. The accessory missile is from the uh, hyper speed armor, I believe. So that's not new, but the head sculpt and the arm sculpts are really nice. I like the almost axe-like blades on the hands. That's really nice. I just really like the look of this figure. Plus, this one was also seen in the movie and is on the official Iron Man 3 armor list. So this is one I heavily recommend picking up. Next, we have the Silver Centurion armor, which is the armor that is both silver and red. The Silver Centurion looks very nice. It actually is a repaint of the stealth blaster armor. Its accessories are reuses from the Iron Man 40, Mach 42 hands and has the Iron Patriot blaster. Looks like it's slightly modified and this is just a cheap repaint. They didn't even take the extra arms and add the little fins it had in the movie and on the pictures of the official Iron Man 3 list. But it's still one I recommend getting because it was in the movie. I believe this one is called the Exosphere armor. This one looks very cool. And I really do like the design of this one. It has, I believe it has a brand new head sculpt. And the chest piece looks brand new, but I could be mistaken there. The legs do look like a, fig, uh, a Wii paint with some slight modifications. The thing about this figure, it has the normal Iron Man 42 arms. But it has the saw blade arms from the Iron Man uh, t 10 figure, I believe that was its number. I apologize for not memorizing the names. But he does have the jetpack from the Star Boost armor, which is a nice touch. And the paint scheme on this looks very nice. The purple, uh, not purple, but a uh, very light blue with the dark navy blue. And the uh, very nice, I'm not quite sure what kind of color. It's not really a white, it's more like a 
pearl like kind of it just looks very nice and this is a figure i will pick up all right so next we have the hall of armor now this is a six pack and will be an amazon exclusive this is something i really want to pick up because not only does it we release uh four figures that we previously gotten but it also re releases the mach 42 but with brand new articulation and it seems to be a Marvel Universe uh, semi quality. And we also get the same quality figure as Tony Stark. I mean, this is really cool. So we finally get a Tony Stark. The sculpt does look a lot like the actor, Robert Downey Jr. And I do really, really, really want to pick up this pack. I mean, this looks like an excellent uh, six pack to pick up. All right, so now we actually have some vehicles. Um, we have the Iron Patriot with iron assault tank um it looks like just a kind of cheapish um iron, uh, iron patriot figure nothing too spectacular there probably just a cheap repaint but it uh comes with this really nice tank uh it looks all extremely similar to the avengers uh captain america tank that was actually released it's the same mold and the color schemes are just extremely similar uh this is something i might pick up because i really enjoyed that mold but it's just something that I would definitely wait till the end of the toy line. Alright, so here we have the Iron Man with Iron Jet. This is actually a really cool set. This is a Toy Source exclusive and comes with a cheap Iron Man Mach 42 armor. Just a cheap repaint, nothing too spectacular there. Uh, this is actually a repaint of the jet that was released in the Avengers line, which is actually a repaint of the one that was released in the Captain America toy line. And it's a really nice jet. I actually do want to pick up the Captain America version. It looks really nice, and I really like the paint scheme on this one. It looks really cool. So this is something I actually do want to pick up, and I do own the mold, and I believe I actually have a review of this up on my channel. And it's just a really nice mold and with a really nice paint scheme, and this is one I do recommend picking up for uh, those Iron Man fans. Alright guys, so that is my thoughts on the Iron Man 3 new figures. There actually were two other figures that I could not for the life of me find pictures of them. But they just are two previously released Iron Man 2 figures repackaged in the $5 line with some decent accessories. They look interesting, but they're just cheap figures, and I wouldn't recommend picking them up. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this Battle Ball talk. And I hope you guys uh, leave a comment of what you guys think of the figures down below. I will enjoy your feedback. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And I will see you guys with some new videos. Till then.